Hi guys, Mark from Cutter Electronics here today to do a quick uh, assembly demonstration of the SSK 272 kit. So what you'll get in the kit is uh, a heatsink, our standard SSK 2 heatsink, your SSK board uh, available in a variety of colours. This version is an Optisolus um, with some um, XPG3 blue power cable, a hanger, connector wire, some wagos and screws to screw down the heatsink. So without further ado, uh, let's assemble it. Okay, so the heatsink is pre-drilled and tapped for M3 screws. So let's line up the notches and holes on the heatsink and commence by getting all the screws into the appropriate holes. So there are six outer holes and two inner holes just to ensure you get an even pressure across the board to make with the heat sink. So notch those up until they're tight. Okay, so that's the board on the heatsink ready to wire and hang. Okay, so we're going to take our wire supplied in the kit and wire or terminate to the uh, the PCB. So the PCB has two cathodes, or sorry, two anodes, two cathodes, or two plus, two minus. So you can wire the board that way, that way, etc. So in terms of where you're placing it and how you wire, you want your wire to run will dictate how you may uh, terminate your wire. So in the Wago connectors, it's quite simple to place the wire inside there and you can push it in under pressure or you can drop the small release mechanism and insert the wire in firmly. That same mechanism will allow you to release the wire if you've made some error or need to change the board, etc. As you can see, you can just push the wire in and the wire bite will retain the wire in place. Okay, so let's connect up the connector, the mains input, the AC side, the primary side, call it what you will. Just need to shrink these down a little bit, they're a little too long.
So let's match up the two Earths. Okay, so we match up all the cables with their associated sides. Lock up the IP. Sixty-seven clamps are protected. functions as a cable tension and there we have the connected mains input. Okay, so we have our board assembled on the heatsink. We have our driver mains cable connected. So let's connect the board to the output side of the driver. So using the Wayo's, select one as the neutral line, or blue, uh, that's earth, stripped cable into the Wayo, clamp the cage, take the positive hot wire on the Wayo, connect one side, that's in. The board now is fundamentally assembled. And the length of cable may well dictate as to whether you want to mount the heatsink on the driver as you're running it, or if you wish to run it uh, at some distance remotely, then you will need longer cable. So what we'll do is attach the hangers. So this can be clipped to each corner. <clears throat> 